Hey there, I'm Katie Joy, the Global Butterfly, and in this episode, I'm going to share with you the six empath gifts that are typically available to many of us who have the psychic senses activated. But I want to be really clear that empaths are a little separate to empathy in the sense that empathy is the experience to understand and connect with how somebody might feel. Empaths literally feel it. And there's different ways that you can um, have that experience of the knowing, the feeling, and the awareness of it, but there is also the possibility of having all six. So you might have a strength, a, an area that's really strong in one area, and it, or a couple of different ones of these empath gifts, and you might have them all. So which one will resonate with you? I'd love to hear um, what connects with you as I share these. So the first of all, I just wanted to reiterate as well that this is the um, activation of these psychic awarenesses, which if you're an empath, you, you, you know that you already are. You might not even know that that is what your label is yet or it's new to your discovery, but you knew, always knew growing up that you were different, that you had this extra sensing, this knowing, maybe sensitivity. You were probably told to um, you know, toughen up, have thicker skin, you're too sensitive. A lot of these elements, most than like, more than likely, you were probably brought up in a contrast of a, of a family environment where you really felt like you didn't like, Whose family did I get born into? Was I was do I actually belong to them? <laughs> and like, so you want to be able to find out and connect with um, just really understanding that this is a journey. It's a journey of contrast, and it's ultimately a journey of returning to love and that love of self. And I'll I'll go through these gifts and 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 give you some reiteration of how you can utilize them and access them to be able to be of service instead of being in the woundedness of it all and feeling like it's a curse because, well, let's face it, a lot of us have experienced it feeling like a curse over the years until you learn how to harness this energy and utilize it for the greater good, for the greater service. Does that sound good to you? Well, one of the first aspects that I wanted to bring to light is physical empaths. You know, and this is where you literally feel it in your own body. So I work with my clients online and I do it remotely and I tune into their energy and I can literally feel in my own body um, often pain and I'll bring it to light and they're like, whoa. But it's the sense of it could be in that present moment or it could be trauma from the past. Um, there could be some physical issues or aches or pains, or it might be even the thought processes, but that's actually connected with another one as well. But typically the physical empath is going to be connected with really um, connecting in the body. Then the emotional empath. Now the emotional empath is really tuned into the emotional energy. And again, this is something that I do with my clients. I can really tune in with literally on the emotional scale where somebody is at over any particular area in their life and over a particular issue. And like the level of stress that's going on in their, their energetic field is something that I really tune into and connect with. And this is a big one for many impasse. And it's probably um, one that requires some great self-awareness around it so that you're not taking on the energy of other people and you'll be able to have more discernment about what is yours and what's not. So the third empath gift is the intellectual empath. And this is more of the, the mental connection, almost like telepathy, right? Pretty much is. It's literally tuning into somebody else's thought processes, mind reading, uh, literally, because the thoughts jump and then you're in frequency and you can actually um, not only see them, but even hear them, hear those thoughts. And again, that's, um, you know, it's a, it's a really great gift to have if you know how to tune into it and harness it and utilize it. But if you're, if you, if you're not aware that you are um, maybe have some porous boundaries around it uh, and lacking some discernment around it, this can be quite invasive and really um, create some mental disturbances or what is perceived as mental disturbances in your own health because your energy field is so cluttered with all of these thoughts and most of them, and they're not even yours, right? And you're trying to process the thoughts that aren't even yours. So this is a really powerful gift to have, like all of these, but when you um, tune into them, which I'll give you a few little, um, ways to do that, you can really shift from that wounded empath state into the warrior or awakened state as with your gifts. 
A fourth one is animal empathy as an impact. And this is where you, you really tune into the animals. And I'm really strong in this, but I also have a client who's super strong at this. She does it with horses, really tuned in with horses. And it's really cool. Maybe, you know, I don't know if you're in an, an animal empath, maybe you've had experiences of tuning into cats or dogs. Some people tune into fish or even to all animals. I have some sense with this, but this is the weakest of the six for me as I'm, I'm tuning more with the, um, the other areas, that, the other gifts that I'm giving you. The fifth one is the environmental empath. And this is where you really tune into your environment and mother nature, really connecting with... Uh, the trees, the plants, even, you know, the, the, the area around you, you get to really tune in and connect with it and feel for the, the energy of the earth and the ecosystem. And, and, and the, um, it can even extend beyond our planet, by the way. This one can actually tune into the, other, the solar system, the universe, and really having that connection. I can feel like some of you are probably going, oh, my God, there's a name for this. There's something actually happens. Yes. So tuning into your environment and really being able to take on that energy is allow, and in a way that allows you to um, be of service to Mother Nature and even serving other people, uh, that's another gift. There's another one called Place Empath, and this is a bit like environment, except for it's more of material made, um, like you walk into a home and you sense and you feel energies, or you might walk into a room and you feel those energies. You might look at a photograph or touch a photograph or a piece of jewelry and have that experience as well, where you have an insight of information that um, is, is, is available to you through that place, that thing that you are touching or frequenting, or, or it might be going on a plane, it might be going into a new city and you know you've never been there before in this human form, but you have this sense of, oh my God, massive deja vu. So out of those, which one is the strongest one for you? If you're watching this, I know that you're an empath, right? Or, or you may not have known that you were called an empath before. It's a label, it's a name. Um, and I, it's, it's just really a, a way to be able to have some sense and order to these energy gifts that you know you've always had all your life, right? So tune into those, which one is the strongest one for you? And you may have all six or maybe have a couple of really strong ones and ones that you still access, but maybe they're not your strongest points. So what are the keys to be able to shift from that wounded to awakened state with your energy gifts? The empath gifts. This is something that I've been tuning into. I'm 44 on this coming week as I'm shooting this, this um, video and podcast. And I'm really excited because I know that I'm really stepping into the year of my absolute mastery up to, you know, really put, culminating all of my life experiences of trying to understand these gifts. And for me in the last three, four years, I've really bloomed and blossomed in a way that I'm acting, act, acting as a healer to healers and helping other people to really come to light with their gifts by having a real awakening of self. This is crucial because often in the earlier years or years of trying to understand these gifts with a lack of boundaries and a lack of discernment and a lack of sense of feeling like you're fitting in, there's this, this a bit of a wounded bending of and adapting of the self image and really adapting and adopting other people's values in uh, taking care of other people at the cost of self. And that can really kind of wreak havoc on your own design for your life and, and, the, uh, and the way that you can be stepping fully into your power to utilize your energy gifts. So one of the key things that you need to do in order to be able to awaken your empath gifts to their fullest fruition, to be utilized and available to truly have the influence and impact other people. And also, honestly, a way for you to be able to monetize your gifts in a way that feels good for you and for the people that you serve. Well, it starts with you must have self-awareness, like a deep level of self-awareness and deeper, 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 deeper than you've ever had before. And it's a constant journey. It's a willingness to go into the depths of your own soul, to dance with all the shadow aspects that have previously been fragmented or pushed aside or made wrong and bringing it all back together so that you're wholeheartedly in well-being and energetic health and vibrating at your highest frequency so that you can be tuned in to your gifts and the knowledge that's available to you through the infinite source of the universe.
And part of that process too is falling so deeply in love with yourself and making sure that you love yourself more than you could possibly love even anyone else at this aspect because the truth is you can't love another human being any more than you love yourself. So if you have not really owned fully loving you, it becomes very difficult to then have that capacity in that space to fully own the, the opportunity to love somebody else with such vigor and depth and expansion as well. Is this making sense? <laughs> So <clears throat> you want to have that, that self-awareness and self-love. And you can often do that with meditation practices and being still, being present in the moment. And you can definitely connect with that, those energies and really utilize those and harness them and channel them in a way that really serve other people and your own life too. When you are still enough and you've got that quiet, um, space to be in this moment now to create the most ma amazing magic for yourself and for others. And the other thing too is that you want to make sure that during that stillness and that practice of being still and that practice of tuning in that you are energetically setting up some boundaries, some healthy boundaries that really allow you to choose when to tune in and with other people and when you're going to create a, like a boundary around that and not allow those frequencies to come in and disturb your energetic field, but also how to clear a lot of those energetic cords and the, free, and the, and the toxicity that can sometimes leach, leach into your space and, and being, even having the discernment to understand what energy is yours and what is not and what you need to be able to send back or send forth with real loving consciousness or whether you have got the opportunity to shape shift that energy and transcend from it and tune into a new frequency that has you vibrating at a higher level. So I hope this has been really super helpful for you and one understanding the six empath gifts, but also on how to really start to have some uh, awareness around how to tune into those and harness them and utilize them to influence impact and even make an income. I'd love to hear what your impact gifts are. So in whatever capacity you're receiving this and whether you're hearing it or listening to it um, or watching it, please comment, like, subscribe so that if this resonates with you, you want to hear more, but also share with me, you know, in the community, what are your empath gifts? gifts? What is your core one? Do you have a primary one? Do you, are you all six or do you have a couple of the other ones that are a core? And if you've got any more questions around this or comments, um, or further content that you would like to me to expand on, please send me a message or comment below and let me know what that is so that I can serve you and with what's relevant to you too. So I'm really excited. And in the meantime, if you aren't yet already a member in our free community, the Awaken Woman Revolution, make sure you come on in. There's immediate gifts in there for meditation, daily success ritual practices. There's also lots of great video content training that helps you really um, master your energy and organize your energy in a way that allows you to facilitate the greatest version of yourself and create the greatest version of your life. So love light and manifesting lots of magic. I wish you the most amazing experience today manifesting and I love you.